coffee. Welcome to another go at art. It's been about five. So this is the fifth week. Five yeah. weeks, which has gone by really quick. Um, I thought today that we would come off of planet Earth and go into space, the final frontier. Um, what you'll need, something round and something a bit smaller round. I have to well. apologise first actually, I made a list earlier and it's changed a little bit since then so we'll give you enough time to go and find things. I did say one plate but if you can find two things that are round that are slightly different sizes. Or, or you can do it with one, it doesn't really, it doesn't really matter. I'm going to just knock the camera down slightly because we're slightly too high up here. There you go, that's attractive, isn't it? Sorry about that. Oh, my shirt looks lovely. There we go, better. Anyway. <laughs> right, so I'm going to use not a pencil. You'll need a pencil to draw around this. But I'm going to use something a bit thicker just so you can see it. Pots your pen, my favourite thing. So you can put it anywhere you want. Preferably off to a side a bit. Ooh, that's a bit wobbly. And just. Oh. Just draw around it a bit. Well, just to adjust this a bit because it's slipping back. And you can do the same with the smaller one. I'm going to put my one down there a bit. It could be anywhere in space, it doesn't have to be Earth or... I think mine's the planet Fish. Right, so... I've lost my paint again, my black... Oh, what are you right, using? black. Okay. I'm going to use a bit of black. And I'm going to use a big brush. Oh, that's my other apology as well. I said... Uh, black, white and blue paint, but you're also going to use, um, is it a little bit of yellow, I saw? Yeah, I might use a bit of yellow, a bit of, tiny bit of yellow. Only, only little bits, it's not, not much of a change, but you can do it in just two colours, it doesn't really matter. So a little bit, maybe a little bit of red or yellow or green, but tiny bit. Um. Oh, sorry, I forgot to, on the circle also, just to give me a guide, you can do the same thing, or you can just do it by... Oh, you still need the tin foil though. Just to get, so I'll get a guide to where the bit of dark is. So I'll put that big plate there. So I'll get the same sort of size. And I'm going to do the same with the little one. So my solar system sun is over there somewhere. But I'm not going to make it too dark because it just doesn't. Right, I'll finish with that. So, black. So, I'm just going to start with a few bits of black around. A little bit low on black, actually. And. I'm going to get a big brush and I'm just, oh, it's a bit wet. I've been washing my brushes. So I'm going to go around that. I never get it perfect because I find it quite difficult to do follow a line. I don't know about you lot. I'm sure there's some of you out there. As long as it's a rough circle anyway. I'm sure planets aren't perfect. I know this one isn't. So, so basically we're just going to go All over, and if you wanted, you could get smaller things and put little moons in, and 
but obviously maybe just try with this one first yeah yeah shall I, while you're doing that shall i show your practice one uh you can do yeah, yeah I did so a you get an idea one. so you get an idea of what he's talking about okay so something along those lines so you can add in more sort of down here up here wherever oh, i've got paint on my thumb now I did suggest to Pete that at the end, because it's stars and it's really pretty, that maybe we could add in glitter and diamonds and stick them all around. That'd be really nice, but he said no. <laughs> <laughs> How you doing, Evie? I forgot she was there, she's so quiet. Oh, cool. Going all right. All right, I've just got to touch up some little bits. How are you lot doing out there? Is it, is it working for you, Rachel? We've got Rachel and Sean there and Cindy having a bit of a try. I like to think <laughs> that Katie's having a little bit of a try. I like to think Kate, Katie never follows the lines. I think that's yeah, yeah. what she's just saying, yeah? Never follow the lines. That's what, they, that's what they're expecting you to do. When I say they, I mean them. <laughs> right, so... Sean says that glitter is, it is illegal. It is illegal. Well, it I, is. I think it's... Pink. And it's really bad for the environment. But you, and girls. You, can get, um, mm. you can get special glitter. I'm sure if anybody knows about this, it'll be Rachel. She's the glitter queen. Okay, so. Well, it seems like I, if she's that much of a glitter queen, it, it seems like I only have two daughters now. <laughs> There's no glitter in my family. <laughs> anyway, it's enough of that. Now, I'm going to choose, right, you can make these planets any colour you want, really. But I'm going to choose a nice... I was going to choose blue, but I can't find it. It's been on the floor. No, there's none in that one. It's like a... That's it, over there. There it is. Right, and because it's quite a dark blue, I don't really want that. I'm not going to do that. So I'm going to add bit of, we'll go over here again, I haven't got a, oh there it is, uh, I've, stolen, white. I've stolen Pete's table today because I have a bit of a problem with my legs so I need, need to be able to sit down so at the moment his things are everywhere. <laughs> so I've got everywhere. Right. Well, it's not as bad as having to live with a, a leg that sticks out. So, I'll figure it out. Wait, that's going to drip. That's going to drip. Doesn't matter. It does. Oh. It's art. I have put my complete trust in the paint that it's not going to drip where I don't want it to. So, this is what just going to get all the basics down like just for colour so it's not going to look like this <laughs> perfect planet as you can see because as we know I'm sure it isn't perfect it's the atmosphere that makes it loud I suppose isn't it it's all, it's all bumpy and odd shape I've got a sign this <laughs> what's atmosphere? atmosphere? atmosphere get really deep when we start talking about space. No, no. I'm just adding a bit of white in there. If that's going to happen, I'm going to take over painting and you can sign. I'm just adding a bit of white in there because, because I can. Um, so the other one, I'm doing the Bob Ross thing of flicking my brush. I'm going to do like a white and it's got a little tiny tiny hint of blue in it but as I say you can do these orange you know think Star Wars 
all their planets are different colours. Rachel likes blue, she covers it in her hands. Right, so I've got a dark blue. And I'm going to do the other side of this like that. Might do it a bit darker than that actually. This all could go wrong here. If we, I'll just concentrate on the big one for now, and we'll leave that other one till last. Because I'm gradually forgetting what I did. <laughs> it's alright, we're going to get out of the tin foil in a minute. Are you doing Evie? You got your tin foil ready? Mm -mm. Or are you just going with it? Just going with it. She's just going I'll with it. Pinch this the roll of tin foil, please. I'm not sure my signs. Are good. No, it's sunny today. You could go out there and catch yourself some sun. I'm growing a lockdown beard. Right. Screw it up into a bowl and just it just gives it a nice little texture. Although I've let it dry a bit much on mine. I'm just thinking Sean is using pens for this. So yeah, obviously yeah. silver foil is not gonna work, but maybe she could, I don't know, this is just an idea. She could drop bits of water on it to smudge it a little bit. Yeah, she could blend it. I mean it'll make it bumpy. It's your choice. Could do. She's an art student, she'll be experimenting and use things like fire. So properly it sort of blends it a bit more. So it's better to go to the light colour into the black. And if you think you do into the dark, and if you do come back over, just come over the edge, don't go right over there, otherwise you're gonna have all blotches. Unless you want some, you know, you can do a couple of that shape. It's always stand back from it from a little bit and then you you know so often you go you you get to a pattern you've been working on it all like that and you when you look at it at the end it's all lopsided and all messy and everything's all squashed up and crooked so it's always a good idea to stand back now and again I did a portrait of my brother the other day, it doesn't look like him at all. <laughs> Looks like somebody who might be related. Bless you, really good. So, Tissue. Right, I'm going to go to the, the pale blue one. And I think we can add a little bit of blue into that white. Don't know why I'm doing that, I don't need that yet.
So as I say, that line is like just, just really full. It doesn't matter if you go over it a little bit, like I'm doing now, because it's losing depth otherwise. Not sure if that's dark enough. basic sort of bits down it looks a bit rough what I'm going to suggest for a minute is if uh, once you've done your dabbing if you paint a little bit more uh, maybe on the black just touch bits up and it give people enough time to go and find yeah, I'll just, I'll um, toothbrush because we're going to use that a little bit again all you can do is a stiff brush and flick it a stiff paintbrush doesn't have to be a toothbrush. Is it getting easy? Dark universe. She's been watching Steven Universe. And because they're both practically blue, you can add little like flecks in there. Looks quite nice, some dark flecks in there. I like it. My paper's gone all wobbly, so everything looks wobbly. Um, you can, but you know, it's... Because it's a choice, isn't it? Yeah, it's a choice. Some of it can be brushed. There you go. Happy? Mm. Right. What I'm going to do, though, is... Get a bit of that. Oh, what I was going to say, this the bigger one, you can do things like get little bits of white and you can either dab or you can put little white streaks in. I don't know if you've ever seen a photograph of this planet we live on. So it's never really all fluffy clouds, it's like you get from space it's like this sort of streaky white stuff in it or you can just dab it like that right as space goes that looks pretty black I know I know out in space it does look pretty black and you can't really see stars without a big microscope so but we don't like that as people we like to we like to see our stars and our stuff although I've never been to space so I'm not really enough for it so I'm going to get me a stiff brush and I'm going to do When you come over to see some of this. It's a bit frustrating because I'm working on such a big base. Got a 
think for love of white paint that could probably be too pretty. But if you want, you could add a few yellows in there. Get a little bit of red if you wanted. If you're trying out these different artworks, it would be great if you could take a photograph of it and um, send it to us. That'd be really lovely. If you have a look on our page, which is uh, Inspiration Creative, you can send us a message. You can uh, email us or you can just send us a Facebook message on there. Um, and yeah, it'd be lovely to see your photographs. And we can add them into our PowerPoint of different work that we've had so far. Go right in close, and it gives it a nice little haze around the planet. You can also use um, cotton buds to do little dotty stars, and you get more of a instead of where a brush bends, you're likely to get a little streak rather than a little dot to represent the star. Yeah, just for Zoe, I'm going to do something now. No glitter. But what colour is that? Ooh, it's gold. Right. <laughs> happened before, it'll happen again. And it just gives it a little haze. So just to make it a bit more starry, right? You can get a smaller brush. And, uh, or you can get a cotton bud. I'm sure we haven't got any with us. I have all upstairs as well. Mm. And you can, you can do like, like a little, like a bigger dot if you like. And I'm going to add a little bit of gold around the edge of this planet just to highlight it. You could do it with yellow, couldn't you? You could do it with yellow, and you can you could do things like well, that's not relevant to this where the dark is. You could do you could do like a little a little. I'm trying to find the word a little star sort of sunrise star thing there. See, so it's. It's just lit up the horizon. Light burst. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A little light burst, and you can smudge it a bit so it. Yeah, that paint's drying really quickly. There we go. That looks rubbish. <laughs> Sure to show us your hands after this workshop. If you'd mind. And everybody actually, we can see yeah. your hands. Show us your hands. Art, no, they're art hands, that's what they are. Evie, do you want to come show us your hands? She got a nice painting yeah. hands, I hope so. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah. yeah, it shows you're having fun. Thank you. So you can keep adding bits and just a bit more sparkly, pinky gold, and with that starburst, I've got a 
sleep, Bob asked. I pull Can Chris. Just sleep? Shame my age, don't I? I pull Chris. Bring your camera back over in a moment. Okay, okay, clear stuff. The constellation of Peter's Belt. Again, it's better to do these sorts of things on the canvas or something like that, or a ball. It's a bit of MDF. Oh, we've had some brilliant pictures being shown from last week with uh, what did we do? The um, tape, the abstract. Lucy's one's looking good. Uh, she used an old frame. And we will be sharing them off. The nice one with all the tape that you did is that all of the photos that have come to us, all of them look completely different to the next. Yeah, they're really good. They look good. absolutely brilliant. I'd love to see all of them on display in the gallery. That'd be great. I think you might be getting closer about half past. Yeah, it? I am. I did do a check. Just doing a few. So if you have more than half an hour, you could like just carry on, just adding bits and yeah. It'd be good for kids who are looking at doing space as part of their schoolwork, and then they can add in as many as they want to. Maybe they can look at the different sizes and where all the planets are lined up, what colours they are. And I like to do just quickly a. going to do, I don't know if it's going to work because it worked before, I'm going to do a little red triangle on that planet there, because, oh, I didn't want to do that. <laughs> it's Superman flying across it, didn't work. It's just a red, a red stripe down for it. <laughs> there you go. Right, I'll just zoom in a little bit here. There we go. Evie, do you want to show us yours? Oh, I think Sean, Sean just bought hers down. Look, it's a teeny weeny. It's really cute. Let's have a look at Sean's tiny one in there. I love that. And Evie? We might not see oh. one of the planets. Okay, so one of them's really dark down here. So wow. Right, we can see it then. Cool. Well done. Thank you. Put that down. Well yeah. done. So have a try. Take some photographs of your work and send it in to us. You could go on forever and ever, like space. Thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you again soon. Bye. Bye.